Here's more stand-up comedy nonsense. Like a YouTube what is family, it's your big homie Wayne. Y'all you know saying? I'm gonna hit y'all off with another one of these reaction videos, okay? This one right here is gonna be something based off of the based? most recent Saturday Night Live episode featuring Bill Burr. Um, he said some stuff that supposedly caused a lot of controversy. Um, Did he? I okay, missed this one. Watch Saturday Night Live, so I missed this one. Oh shit! Definitely didn't see it, but. It's been getting so much talk around Actually, social wait. media and stuff like that. We figure why not give it a reaction. All right, so here we go right here. Bill Burr on Saturday Night Live. Let's get right to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am so, I am so excited to be here. I have been doing stand-up forever. And this has always been a lifelong dream of mine to come here and host Saturday Night Live. So thank you so much for coming out. Oh, he's really... Coming out. During, during these difficult times, you guys all look like surgeons with your masks on. Makes me feel comfortable that you're oh. wearing masks. I like people who wear masks. That's good. You're listening to the eggheads, the people we all cheated off of in high school, right? Keep listening to them. And then if you don't wear a mask, that doesn't bug me either, right? Take Alpha. out your grandparents. You oh, know? no. Ooh. Yeah, no. That, that's funny. Take out your Wait, that so that's like, ooh, he shouldn't have said that. Oh. Sweet cousin with the asthma. I don't care. Ooh. It's your decision. There's too many people. <laughs> it's a dream come true. <laughs> if you're that dumb, this and isn't you want to kill your own family members, by all means, right. do it. It's not happening that way, though, right? Nothing about that is funny because nothing about that premise rings true. The notion that if you don't wear your mask, you're just offing a bunch of fucking people. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> so, like, every level of this is already just stupid. The, like, the so-called faux outrage that the liberals are throwing at Bill Burr. The very notion that this is even funny to anyone or edgy to anyone or rings true in any way, shape, or form. It... <laughs> We're living in a cuckoo clock, man. It's not you for right. producing. It's literally a dream come true. <laughs> and speaking of dreams come true, did you see Rick Moranis got sucker punched on the Upper West Side? <laughs> New York is by a bleak. Back, baby. <laughs> New York is back. <laughs> we lost our eggs there for a minute. I, I just. I, I'm so, it's been so long since I've watched, uh, you know, like several years ago, I used to watch the, uh, or uh, listen to old back clips of Opie and Anthony all the time. I would listen to Patrice O'Neill riffing with, you know, Bill Burr and Jimmy Norton and fucking, you know, the, you know what I mean? Like the whole crew, Jay Moore would come on, uh, whatever, guys like that. Um, they were kind of funny back then, but also I was completely different. I, I <laughs> They wouldn't have been saying dumbass shit like this, like out of touch shit like this. He looking like a giant bed, bath, and beyond, and then bam! <laughs> oh, Ricky took one in the shots. <laughs> it had to happen. It had to happen. That's what happens when you stick an m and store in Times Square. <laughs> All right? The universe has to balance itself. Get the peak shows back in Times Square, old people can walk safely 40 blocks away. I'll probably get canceled for doing that joke, you know? How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. And it's, you know, it's new school uh, social credit score or disappearing people. It's like the people who arguably are the most qualifying of being disappeared, going around disappearing people that are just regular. They're going after dead people now. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. <laughs> It's like, yeah, dude, God did that 40 years ago. <laughs> They're all up in arms. They're like, did you hear what he said in that interview with Playboy in 1970? Can you believe that? It's like, yeah. He was born in 1907. <laughs> That's what these people sounded like. You never talked to your grandparents and brought up the wrong subject, and all of a sudden it went off the rails. Oh! No, no, because our boomer parents are way the fuck too cucked. <laughs> like they they say things like, "Well, I don't see race as I live in like ninety plus percent quasi rural white enclave." 
Yeah. They're making the cookies and saying, well, you know, black people probably shouldn't burn down their own neighborhoods. And it's like cocks like this have to go, whoa, 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 grandma. Whoa, you said something way thif. Oh my God. I'm going to cancel my own grandma and call the SPLC. Huh? Keep it simple. That's, that's the mindset of people that watch, unfortunately, watch Bill Burr, you know? That's what's funny to them about this is like, look at how stupid white people are, you know? And he is stupid. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I my grandparents it. are older. I don't know. Exactly, Green Knight. Oy vey, celebrating assaulting a small head celebrity who doesn't rabble rouse. Yeah, like, he just made light of Rick Moranis getting sucker punched by some dude named Blake who's going around punching white-looking, you know, white-presenting kind of people. Like, a lot of yids, a lot of Asians, a lot of whites, you know? Model minorities and whites is, is, is seems to be who they like to beat up. Plowing ahead. <laughs> Plowing ahead. Let's, let's talk. Uh, let's talk white women here. Shall oh. we? <laughs> let's talk white women. White women. You're amazing. Amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta <laughs> tell you, the way white Pussy women hats. somehow hijack the woke movement. <clears throat> hijack the totally legitimate organic woke movement, right? Generals around. The is he? Is, so is his premise going to be that the woke lefty movement is awesome and a legitimate thing and that the evil stupid white women came through and like took it for themselves <laughs> is that going to be his comedic premise the world should be analyzing this just to refresh your memory the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color yes exactly i called it opportunities the events that they deserve uh. finally making that happen and it was about that for about eight seconds <laughs> see you see wow how did how easily did i call it? okay like what who are his producers and uh writers and directors and whatever feeding him these lines man like oh yeah you're still the edgy angry white guy you know from from the working class blue collar town and by you know like out of the side of boston or whatever but yeah talk shit about white women yeah because they what did white women do? They tried to participate in this not legitimate movement, this totally astroturfed by banks and corporations, like Blake nationalist terrorist movement. They tried to participate because women are more likely to be conformist, right? They're more likely to engage in conformity and enforce conformity. Um, so yeah, they, they obliged and got involved in the BLM hashtag slacktivist burn down cities wear mask bullshit. And now you're saying that they're bad for doing it, for doing exactly what you fucking coerced them into doing. You suck. And then somehow... There's, there's nothing legitimate. There's nothing legitimate about this movement. Like, there, there, there's not a single person that BLM has materially improved the life conditions of. They've only fucked over people. They've only terrorized people. They've only destroyed people's lives, White dude. White women swung their Gucci-booted feet <laughs> over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. <laughs> I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. I don't even tell her eh, with my SUV in my heated seat. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Hunt. Trash and white guys. The nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve. <laughs> See, he's set up to be that. He's set up by producers and, and stuff like that and writers to, to play that character. It's like... It's like, oh, you, you, white, white men getting so angry. How funny. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, dude, Bill Burr and Louis C.K. And, like, and guys like that are... Think about it. They're, they, what purpose do they serve to inject this, like, oh, look at this white guy getting angry and down and out, feeling down and out. Like, look at how, how pathetic and worthless he is. Look at, how, look at how easily we can just discard him, his perspective, his history... <laughs> That's what this is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bill Burr does have a black wife. Yeah. Mia. Okay. Mia. You guys stood by as toxic white males through centuries Talk. of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the white males and our toxic crimes against humanity. Like what? Blood money and occasionally. Blood money. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, cool with the anti-Semitic remarks, Bill Burr. He's going to start talking about the banks. He's going to start talking about the banks, dude. Oh, man. When you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, he 
If you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Oh. And that's what you said. Oh. <laughs> Is that really, is that really their assessment of how rapey black dudes are? Really? It's, it's white women lying about being raped when it's a black dude raping them. But if it's like, if it's like, you know, Brock Turner, it's, no, she wasn't getting brown out drunk and cheating on her boyfriend, waiting up, waking up and being like, oh, he raped me behind the dumpster. No, of course not. So why don't you shut up? These people are Sit terrible. Down next to me to take your talking to <laughs> This is not funny, dude. People think this, people think this is people think this is funny and controversial. Really? Thank you. So, That's fast. I don't know if they made it. About a year, you know. I was uh, I was here last year. I was shooting a movie. Had a great time with Judd Apatow, Pete Davidson, and all the guys. Oh, Judd Apatow, of course. You know, Apatow. Yeah, I had a great time. That's another, like, fellow white producer, like, director, writer who fucking, you know, what was Freaks and Geeks, man? That was, like, J actors playing, like, again, middle American white kids who are all down and out, passive, beta, uh, degenerate, into weird shit, you know? Um, it's like... Look at media. Look look at how they paint white people. Look at how they tell white people they're allowed to act. Just look at it. And I hadn't been here in like 13 years, and I immediately noticed how extra crowded the city was. And I was getting all claustrophobic. I'm like, what's going on? How much of people? Immigration. Save sex and make it all these babies, you know? <laughs> so I finally walked up to this old New York door guy, and I was just like, dude, what's going on? What's with all these people here? And he was just like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. He goes, it's, it's June. He goes, it's Pride Month. And I'm like, what's that? You know, I'm 52. I never heard of it. I didn't know that when I was a kid. He goes, oh, it's Gay Pride Month. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> that, that, dude, so haven't you wondered why they put up with Bill Burr? given that he's supposedly so edgy or whatever it's like because he's it, that's the act that's the purpose that he serves to like oh look stupid white people have complaints <laughs> none of their complaints are legitimate isn't that funny <laughs> dude you know when you're just like stuck in the matrix and you just can't everything's just pressed up you can't yeah. see anything yeah i do and then somebody gives you that little <laughs> nugget of information that just pulls it back it's like why is it so crowded it's gay pride month And it's all funded by the banks. Look, J.P. Morgan Chase on the side of the float. It's funding degeneracy and kid fucking. Yeah, kid. oh yeah. And, and, oh, oh, this out of touch white guy doesn't like it. Look, look, Goyim. Look at this is how you should be. <laughs> <laughs> or there, I'm sorry, like sorry. This is how you shouldn't be, right? If you're like this, you're this goofy, stupid, fucking out of touch white guy. Rainbow flag. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know that. That's what I learned. The month of June is Gay Pride Month. That's a little long, don't you think? <laughs> For a group of people that were never enslaved. <sighs> so this is how he got canceled, right? Um, actually, I'm like, uh, people have car and get people off. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, canceled. How did they get all in June? <laughs> is that it? black people were actually enslaved, they get February. <laughs> they get 28 days of overcast weather. <laughs> <laughs> down at four in the afternoon, everybody shivering. Dude gave me one chuckle this entire routine. Nobody wants to go in the parade. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hey. Okay, so let me guess. He, he did they attempt to cancel him because of the COVID terrible out of touch joke that was out of touch, not because he's jokingly encouraging people to quote unquote kill grandma or whatever, but because the premise is incredibly stupid that not wearing a mask will kill grandma. Did he get canceled for that joke or this joke? The old oh, black people get entirety of uh, they get the entirety of February overcast twenty eight days. Um, wh which which one did they try to get in there? <laughs> They're jungle and desert people. I mean, no, he's right, dude. He's right. Look, Bill Burr, he's trying to be conscientious, dude. <laughs> Alright, that's all my time. We got a great show for you guys, everybody. Wait, so what? I, 
How do they react to it? Mm. Are they based? Well, hey, y'all, there we have it, man. Bill Burr's monologue from Saturday Night Live. What'd you think of that one? That was facts. Facts? Okay. Everything he touched on. Facts? Well, Church? I see why they mad. Okay, okay. See why, they why are they mad? It was church, but they're mad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, supposedly, they've been saying that uh, white women have been like in an uproar about this. I haven't been <laughs> thinking much. No, I didn't know. Probably not. Like on Twitter and stuff like that, he was trending. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, hey. I mean, nothing that he it said. I don't mad. really think anything he said was something to make anybody upset. He's a very edgy right. comedian. So. I don't really edgy, think angry white guy. A lot of the other stuff. It's an edgy, angry white guy character. That that's his character. That stuff that Bill you know, Burr has said has been more edgy than this. I don't but it, but it, again, like I was saying, it's not edgy. It's what we're told is edgy. Right? I don't really think this was on the edge, as far as it kind of just told the line of that truth factor. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of people are uncomfortably. Disturbed by the truth yeah. for some reason, you know, and you cucks. have to kind of get comfortable with being uncomfortable with these type of situations. I mean, this is a uncomfortable conversation for some, but for lots, it was just facts. It's just facts. I don't understand, dude. What is he? What's he saying with facts? Felt like facts. I mean, you know, but that's how we feel. How do you feel about <laughs> it? Huh? Did you guys actually watch the Saturday Night Live episode with Bill Burr? You know what I'm saying? Are you guys familiar with Bill Burr's comedy? And do you think this was along the lines of some of his most edgy work that he's ever done that should no, get I him just simply canceled? No way. That, that, what, that, I, I went over it. No, it's just not edgy at all. It, the people that think it's edgy probably lying as progressives do 100% of the time about it. So we don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're, at least based, they're at least based on that. They're based and red-pilled on that one thing that I guess Bill Burr should not be canceled simply for that. Um, but that's that's kind of a...